Hi there YouTube, <laughs> Mark Verheer here with uh, another video and this uh, video is actually a video on uh, Juno first on the 2600 and it's also the first video that I'm actually editing on the MacBook Pro. Um, yeah, I've been editing and uh, yeah, <laughs> trying to shoot videos on my PC for the longest time but my editing software just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing so uh, yeah, let's see how this works and uh, yeah, it seems that this actually has a very nice workflow, Final Cut Pro. <laughs> I've been using Windows Movie Maker because all the other more advanced stuff uh, just didn't want to work. So yeah, let's go check out and see how this works and uh, let me show you where you can actually get Juno first on the Atari 2600. Okay, hey, so here we are at atariH.com. And you can actually uh, search for Juno first, Atari 2600. And this homebrew is actually available for $25. Uh, and you can select the uh, NTC version or the PAL 60 version. Make sure you get the correct version because uh, this game has a really um, quite um, fancy timing, so it will not work on the other. TV specification, but uh, it's a great port um, of an Atari game, of a Konami game. Chris Walton did a stellar job. It's a 32K uh, game, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, here it goes. So. Here we have Juno First, which is a port of a 1984 Konami game, and uh, it basically plays a lot like Beamrider, if you know, if you know it. Let's press Start, and I'll show you. Perhaps I should lower the volume a bit, but no, I'm not sure. Okay, so basically you're this spaceship, and you have these aliens coming your way, and you have to shoot them. And this is a special. But if you pick it up, you actually get more points if you shoot the aliens. And now you get your back to the normal points. Now, whoops, you can move you can move your spaceship up and down, left and right. And basically, it has this uh, the zooming effect. And yeah, basically, there's all sorts of uh, boards coming your way. And basically this is what the game is all about. Now what is very special is that it looks very close to the arcade original. Whoops, I missed that. And it's running on the, on the, on the, <laughs> on the Atari 2600. New, new wave. And as this piece of hardware has to be programmed. Uh, well, there's no, you know, real nice sprite engine or anything. You really have to program everything yourself. And the fact that they, they've been able to coax this out of this little console is just nothing short of amazing. Now, the uh, PAL version and the NTSC version, this is actually the NTSC version, play identical. Game over. Let's let's try it. let's give you another bit of the gameplay. Now it's 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 a bit different. Uh, of course it's less uh, how do you say it? less advanced than the uh, arcade game. And I made earlier videos on that. Get some extra points. Now, in the first round, the aliens will not really home in on you or shoot on you that much. But in later rounds, you really have to be careful not to run into animal, animal into enemy bullets. And I'm not sure if I'm able to show you a lot about this. But I think if you if you do own uh, a 2600 and you like your shooting ups and <laughs> you like Juno first, you may actually want to decide to go get this. 
it's uh, available over at Atari Age, and I think it plays amazingly, amazingly good. <coughs> now it's it's very tough. I think it's even I think it's even tougher than the uh, original arcade. Whoops. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if it has a warp. Perhaps it has, but I've yet to discover it. I think it just has fire. Well, you know, this is just a, a quick show of the game, and uh, I hope you like it.